Technology is a boon if used right, and Gujarat Forest Department is just proving so. The department is now using an AI-based software that individually identifies Asiatic lions, the pride of our nation. Simba, or software with intelligent marking-based identification of Asiatic lions, is an AI-based photo identification software specifically designed to distinguish patterns or marks unique to the lions. Now, Asiatic lions have unique whisker spots on either sides of their muzzle and scientific studies have revealed that these precise patterns are highly variable and do not change over time. The creators of Simba took this to their advantage. Let's listen to Dr. Mohan Ram, Indian Forest Services Officer posted at Gir National Park for more information on this. The lions have the whiskers here. So there are one, two, three, four rows and there are some uh, patterns also. On the whiskers, there are sports. These are known as whisker sports. These sports and the angles, the pattern, which is in between of this one, that is a unique kind of thing. Second thing, there are other marks on the lion's face, like we know on the uh, ear, or maybe here, maybe some other marking on the lion's face. If you put all these together, so you can individually identify the individuals on the base of these markers. Uh, this software, it's not only just recognize that one, it will give a unique ID to that one. Uh, you can add the other data, just like microchip data, GPS locations also. If any lions have any uh, that, uh, veterinary history also that you can add. And next time, if you are putting the same image or other image of that particular individual, it will say this lion is existing already in the database and that image will be added in that database only, that unique ID. Rest, if there is a new individual, then it will show that this is a new individual. So this is artificial intelligence-based intelligence -based technology, which is mainly working on the YOLO networks. YOLO, this is something, uh, uh, mathematical algorithm which identifies these features on the face of the individuals. The software took over six months to take its final shape and the inspiration was to create a library of data on Asiatic lions. The software not only tracks the lions but also augments traditional methods of animal population surveying with technological innovation. Let's know how and the scope of the software. First of all, that we have lions have the pride behavior. So in the pride, how many lions are there? We can individually identify. Then the subadults who are growing and uh, living their natal pride, they where they are going, if they are uh, sighted somewhere else, we can take the image and we can say, this is the lion from that pride it has uh, entered in this particular area so it will help in that also moreover we are doing the counting of the lines that population estimation in, right now we are using the block count method which is also equally good but we wanted to augment that method with the technological innovations also so this uh, software will help in that counting also it is it's not that we totally we are going to replace it because traditional methods also have some advantage so we are augmenting and that method which we are using have the ability to absorb the technologies also. So this is going to help in the aesthetic lion population estimations also with the existing technology, augmentation of the existing methodology. This is the only initiation of the this project. In the future, all the data related to the lions can be integrated in this one. You, we have the in-house server. So all the data, whatever you want. And we can uh, we have the customization in this software also. We can give the user access and what kind of data someone can access from this one also. That is also there. In the future, even in this software also, other features like the, you, can in, uh, you can just uh, develop some patch and uh, uh, can update the software. It, it may identify the leopards also, even on the basis of project pattern. Other parameters of any wildlife can be included in this one also. Other data, like just like radio telemetry data or maybe GPS locations of the, uh, the uh, other animals can be integrated in this one. So we are going to develop this software that it should have a holistic database management of aesthetic lines. The software is a perfect example of synergy between the traditional and the future road. Here's Dr. Mohan's take on this. We use this uh, traditional method, block count method. We divide the whole area in the blocks and on a block, particular block, there is a team. So that is also equally good. I'm saying that, 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 that thing we are using, it is really good. And we use the microchips data and the radio telemetry data in that also. But we wanted more technology with the tra traditional methods also. So this will 
if you have any doubt of individuals that this individual is repeated from any particular area so we will come to the software and we will feed the data in that one so it will identify yes these two individuals are similar which are located at two different location at two different times so in that way it will uh, augment the existing process also the made in india software has been developed in collaboration with the hyderabad based telio labs and is in full work mode it took a long time to develop it also and we have tested it many times and uh, now when it is uh, working okay it is giving good results with the accuracy high accuracy then we uh, just uh, taken it out with the public that we have developed this one so that people of india and the gujarat should also know that such kind of technology we are using for the cause of conservation of this uh, beautiful species in this beautiful landscape the tool will be used for understanding population demographics and expanding conservation and management efforts towards thriving girls and india's pride the asiatic lions that will be all thank you for watching